Hello everyone. Today we are in front of Pelta Tower. This tower was built by the Byzantium Empire King Anastasius in 528. And from its time to this time, it had many bad luck in its uh, history and it has been to... Um, it's been host to so many bad incidents. Please come and follow. First of all, the war, the battles, it damaged uh, the tower a lot. And after uh, like getting severely damaged, the tower was built, built again by the Genevese people uh, in 1949. After that time, the tower had earthquakes, uh, fire, and uh, many other bad luck in its history once again. And around uh, 18th, uh, 19th century, the tower was rebuilt by the Ottoman king Mahmoud II for the last two floors you see up there. And lately, the last restoration of this tower was made in 2020 by the Istanbul government. Now let's have a closer look. Right in front of us is Galta Tower, a historical treasure in, Gal uh, in Istanbul, in Bayol area, Bayol district. The tower was first built in 528 by the Byzantine Empire King Anastasius. And from its time, it had many bad coincidences in his life, uh, many uh, bad incidents, such as earthquakes, battle, uh, fire, all the, all the bad you can imagine, Galta Tower had been through it. Uh, right after it's built, uh, like time it was built, Approximately around 700 years later, in uh, 1349, this tower was rebuilt by the Genovese people. And uh, it was having some earthquakes and uh, getting damaged by fire. Then later it was re uh, rebuilt by Ottoman Empire uh, Sultan. Yes, you have a look at Maiden's Tower. I see Maiden's Tower in front of me right now. You can see it's there. Come closer. <clears throat> right now we are there, right on top. And I'm looking in that angle. So, right in front of us there is Eminönü Mosque. And I'm looking at Hadish Bridge and the Galata Bridge. This is a part of Istanbul where it was won by the war. These two areas was the reason we could not, the Turks were, couldn't conquer Istanbul for a very long time. The European side of Istanbul was blocked by the Halic Golden Horn. From this telescope you can actually see the Topkapı Palace, Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque at the same time in beautiful angle. Look at this. Look at this. This is Blue Mosque. This is Hagia Sophia. And this is Topkapı Palace. Topkapı Palace, you should definitely visit and see the view of Istanbul from there. The palace is uh, home to the last of sultans in Ottoman. And it, with its strategic location, you understand how wise and how beautiful it is to be there, to live there, to see it from there. The seventh floor of Kalata. And now we are climbing up to the eighth, to eighth floor, which will lead us to the balcony of Kalata. This Right now, where we are going is around 69 meters long and in that time of it was a building, it was the longest, tallest building in whole Istanbul. Right now we are going to reach that angle to have a beautiful view of Istanbul in from the European side. Looking at Halic from this angle, never been that beautiful. As you go further from this down, the, down this river-like area of Istanbul, you can go to historical areas like Balat, the uh, Rum Monastery, and many other buildings on the edge of European side, which are, like I said below, uh, Blue Mosque, sorry, Blue Mosque, Hagia Sophia, and Topkapı Palace, and also Eminönü uh, Mosque as well.
Moscow. Uh-huh. Actually, that this one is even in Moscow. Mm. This one. Well, I don't know those same. ones. Huh? All are same. All are same, but this is even in Moscow. Mm. Built by Byzantium Empire and its king Anastasius in 528, from sixth century to 21st century, still keeping its beauty, growing almost every century, every year from its uh, different owners. Galata Tower is a truly historical beauty and one of the most beautiful museums in Istanbul. You should definitely visit. Did you know the history of Hazar Fenamet Chelebi, who uh, with his wooden wings from this tower took off and proved that uh, people can also fly, are able to fly, and he took off from this beautiful tower, top of this area, and flew to the Üsküdar area in Doğancılar district. He did this in a very windy weather and according to Evliya Çelebi's writings he he implies that it was taking like at least eight or nine turns in the air during the storm to get him there. Another story of Galata is this tower, the Galata tower and the Maiden's tower are two lovers. They, they love each other and they said they write each other uh, love letters, but they never reach to each other, so they don't know if one loves the other one. But Galata Tower before Hazar Fenamet Chelebi flies off, they, it tells the Hazar Fenamet Chelebi, please deliver my messages to my, my envelopes to the, to Maiden's Tower. And on, Hazar, on, on its way to Üsküdar, he delivers the messages to Maiden's Tower, and Maiden's Tower reads the messages, and she knows that the love is not only one sided, but Galata Tower also loves Maiden's Tower. From this side, you can see the edge of European to the Asian side, where it meets with Bosphor Bridge. The Bridge of Bosphor is also aligning with the Çamlıca Mosque and the tower and the Turkish flag in between. It's a beautiful view to have when you come to Istanbul. Although it's a simple building, it's still glorious.